The Saved View Editor allows us to make saved views with custom date ranges and advanced logic. It also gives us space to map out our saved view and start diving into custom reports in Streak. In this lesson, we'll explore each feature of the editor as we set up a saved view that shows us our projected revenue for each month throughout the quarter. We'll also explore how to visualize this data and use it in a custom pipeline report. In the previous lessons, we gave an overview of saved views and how we use them in our daily workflow. Check out those lessons if you need a refresher. Our sales pipeline is where we track all of our wholesale leads. From here, we can open the Saved View Editor by clicking on the filter icon at the top right of our pipeline. This lets us map out all of the filters, sorting, and grouping that we'll use to hone in on our boxes. We want to see our projected revenue for Q2, which means finding all of the leads that are projected to close in April, May, or June. We'll start adding filters here using the drop-down menus. First, we'll choose what column we want to filter on. In the Saved View Editor, you'll have access to all of your custom columns as well as all of the magic columns in Streak, even if they aren't currently displayed in your pipeline. For now, we'll choose the projected close date column, and we'll look for boxes where the data in that column is in a range. But it looks like this quarter isn't an option, so we'll have to use a bit of logic to get the specific dates that we want. We can use two filters to make custom date ranges. For example, we can choose April through June by looking between the last day of March and the first day of July. Let's set up one filter for after March 31st, and that'll make sure that we capture all of the boxes from April 1st on. Now we need to add the other end of the date range. Click the plus button to the left of this filter, and again, we want to filter on the projected close date column. But this time we want to filter for before July 1st, so we get all the way through the end of June in our filter. You'll notice it says all in the middle of this branch. That means that all of these filters have to be true in order for the box to be included in this saved view. Based on what we're trying to achieve, we could change this to any, or we could choose none if we wanted to exclude close dates in this quarter. Let's check our work. Click apply and see what this saved view looks like so far. All of these boxes have projected close dates between April and June, so this looks great. Except, we don't want to see lost deals in this saved view. So let's add another filter. Head back to the Saved View Editor by clicking the Edit View in the yellow banner at the top. Click the plus button to add another filter. In this one, we want to rule out leads that are in the closed lost stage. So we'll choose the stage column for our filter. Then we'll choose is not any of for the comparison operation and select closed lost. So let's read this in plain English. This saved view says, show me any boxes where the projected close date is after March 31st and before July 1st and not in the closed lost stage. Next, let's sort the boxes that will show up in our saved view by the projected close date. Again, choose the projected close date column for our sort, and we'll stick with oldest to newest. Let's check it out. We're only seeing active leads that have close dates this quarter. In each grouping, they're sorted by the projected close date. The final thing we want to do for our saved view is to see our results grouped by month rather than by stage. Head back to the Saved View Editor, and down at the bottom, we'll change the Group By option to Projected Close Date. And we'll keep each group as a month. Now, when we apply our saved view, it's broken out by deals projected to close in each month. This also helps us sum up the revenue for each month at the top of our deal size column so we can forecast our sales and better manage our sales team. The final thing I want to do here is make this deal size information more prominent. So I'm going to use a different pipeline visualization for this saved view. 
Right now, we see the group bar with the number of boxes closing each month listed at the top of the saved view. To change this, click on the three dots at the top right of the group bar and hover over Pipeline Visualization. This shows us all the different ways we can visualize the data in our saved view. Let's try out a column chart. This chart helps us see how much value is in each grouping. Right now, it's showing us the number of boxes, or leads, but we could change it to show us the projected revenue for each month. Just choose which data you want to be displayed as the height of each column. We could also add a subgrouping to see, for example, what types of customers are driving the most revenue, or how much each team member is projected to close each month. When you're ready, click Save as New View to give it a name, save it for future use, and share it with your team. We'll find the saved view listed under our wholesale pipeline and be able to come back to it at any time. There's a whole lot we can learn and do with saved views and pipeline visualizations. Check out the related articles on saved views and custom reports to learn more.